All right, so this guide is just going to be like, it's going to be explaining some of the stuff in the game. Not not really how to get to stuff and what you should be exactly doing because I feel like that would ruin the fun. So if you just want to like get boosted, this isn't the video for you. I'll just be explaining some stuff. And I'll start off with the races, basically. Uh, if you want to re-roll, these are uh, the chances. And this race is also a 2% chance, like Capra. But... I also will explain what all of them do. So Ganymede is the one I have right now. You, st you spawn with uh, resistance to insanity. Vesperian is, uh, I think is a good one for when you're starting off because you spawn with natural armor. I think it's 9%, but I'm not too sure. Felinor is, you're stealthy and you have a speed boost on wood. Or you could have, you could be like quicker in general, but I'm not too sure about that. Capra is 2%. And I think it depends on the variety you chose. Because like over here, you can reroll your variety. And for Capra, I'm pretty sure it's different for each one. But I know for the blue one that you give... Uh, you resist insanity for others. And the others, I'm not too sure about it. So I'm not going to say about that. Um, for Khan, you can equip three... You can equip things three stat points earlier. So let's say you need a 100 medium weapon to get something. You um if you if you have 97 medium weapon you would um, you would be able to equip it three levels ahead of it. Grammar is two passives. You get a compass on the top of your screen and you starve and get thirsty slower. Canor, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Is you do less damage to allies, but I'm not sure what is considered your ally. I feel like it's people who are in your guild or people on your friends list. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, Seltor is you have increased, increased ship HP and you, when you buy a ship, it's going to be cheaper. Adret is like you spawn with auto didact. So you get to put a skill point each level and Etrians have lower status effects, debuffs and buff durations. And that's basically what all the races are. These are not important. These are like customization, but here for dagger. Uh, if you want to, you would start, these are, this is, sword is medium, battle axe is heavy, and dagger is light. If you want to get a gun or a fist, I would recommend starting with dagger, because, you know, gun and fist are light weapon. If you want to get a spear or a sword, you, or a katana, you would want to start with sword, because those are also medium weapon. And if you want to get, like, a great sword or a different type of axe, you would start with battle axe, because they are heavy. Attunements are just, like, your magic, you can do none, which, you know, will give you no magic. Or you, there will be four things that you can choose here. You can either choose ice, fire, electric, or wind. Or you can go random and it'll choose a random one out of the four. And this one's also important. I feel like this is like, it depends on what you want or what build you're going, I guess. Like, whatever you, it's basically based off whatever you choose. But strength, you know, will increase. All, like here it says, increases raw physical strength. So I guess it does more damage. Fortitude is your... Your HP and armor, I guess. Agility is how fast you are. Intelligence is... See, processing problem increases... Okay, so this increases your ethylene reservoir. And I'm pretty sure it makes your magic moves bigger. Willpower is... It basically keeps your sanity better. And charisma is... Ability to influence others. So, there's some things in game that you need high charisma to talk to them or... To persuade them into doing something. Or... And it increases your ether. But depending on what you choose. Strength. you uh, If you have more in strength than any other stat right now. When you start off. You'll start with a dumbbell. For fortitude you'll start with a vest. Agility you'll spawn with uh, ankle weights. Intelligence you'll spawn with a book. I think encyclopedia or a math book. I'm not sure. Willpower you'll spawn with prayer beads. And charisma you'll spawn with another book. Which is how to make friends. These are your boons and flaws, basically. So if you want to have one boon, you need to have one flaw. If you want to have two boons, you need to have two flaws. But for simple, it counts for two points. So let's say I have simple. I guess I can't do that. But let's say I have... Oh, yeah, I can do that. That's weird. But see, if I were to choose simple, I would be able to choose two things here. But if you want to have two, you would have to choose two of these. And I feel like simple is pretty bad. But autodidact is you get to put a skill... A skill point every level so you basically do that by going to the campfire gourmet is increased increased food gain marauder is you still luck of others so when you grip people you'll be able to roll better cards 
and your luck is increased for that, so it's better. Maverick is you get more XP for doing solo, and Survivalist is you're resistant to environmental effects. But for the flaws, Deficient is you regenerate stuff slowly, so your magic stuff you regenerate slowly. This will make you bleed more. This people will be able to see you, so you might not be able to do stealth attacks properly. Simple is you learn stuff slower. Squeamish is you um every time you grip someone, you'll lose some of your hunger and thirst. And vegetarian vegetarian is you can't eat. You can't eat and you know a vegetarian. You can't eat meat. You'd have to eat solely anything that is on the ground, basically. But all right, and that's basically it for you know the start. And um, all right, let's uh, get back in. But yeah, this is um, this is what I recommend doing. Talking to this guy when you're at the inn, you ask him how do I how can I earn money, and would you be able to spare cash? He'd give you 25 notes. And then what I would do is I would buy a weapon manual. Basically, a weapon manual is every time you do like you do damage with your weapon, you get XP. And that XP is it will level you up and you can get better skills with uh, you get better passives and maybe better skills depending on your weapon, whatever it's at. And then second, I would talk to this guy and I would just spam one unless you would want to read it and you get a gold ring from him. I don't recommend gold equipping it even though it gives four HP. Uh, I would go and sell this. So this is where you go to sell places, uh, not sell places whoops, to sell items. Right here, you talk to this guy right here and you say you'd like to sell something. You just click sell one or sell 10. Doesn't matter because you only have one and you'll get 25 notes from him. And uh, with these 25 notes, what I would buy, you could either go and buy armor, which I can show you where to go, or you can buy something to upgrade your magic basically. But you won't be able to upgrade your magic just yet because you need a level. <laughs> you need to level yourself first. So this is where you would go to get your armor. And before you even buy stuff like materials, I would recommend talking to this guy. If you just tell him you won't rat him out, he'll give you a discount on everything. So his cloth is usually six notes, but since you won't rat him out, it'll be three and it'll be half for everything. So 25 for gold, five for rock, and I think like 12 or 13 for iron. And you would talk to this guy and you would ask him to craft one of your things with one cloth and the notes you have. You can also give him schematics that you get from adventuring and he will be able to unlock other stuff and other build stuff that you can do. But I'll show you what I would do with my 25 notes because I don't really care about the armor that much. But yeah, this is where I would go. I would go this way. And then I would go in here and depending on what you have. So if you have ice, you would get this one. Lightning or electricity, you would get this. Wind, you would get this. Fire this and shadow this. And then that's basically it for everything there. This is where you get your weapons. You can buy like a shield or a great sword. But you need more in a lot of in other stats and you need a hundred notes to buy that. Here is this is the food shop right here. And this right here is the general goods store. So you can get flint, fiber, wood, pickaxes and axes here. That's the food. This is where you go to create a guild or leave your guild or you can manage them. There's also water, a well here so you can get water from it. And then if you go here, this is where you can create your guild or leave it or manage it. But I, I can't manage right now. I don't know why. And here you can look, you can build your outpost. I'm not really sure where they spawn, but I bought one and uh, I don't know what, where mine is. So uh if you know where that is on release, just like comment down below. And uh, I think that'll help me out too. And uh, okay, let's see. This is the bank where you can deliver artifacts. I'll have a video on what it looks like when you deliver an artifact. Right here, this is another guy I would also recommend talking to. He gives you a free axe and you can cut down trees with this. And I'm pretty sure if you give him wood over and over after you like, you know, have like bad rep, he will like, he'll like, he'll fix your rep, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not too sure about that. And then there is one more spot I want to show. Uh, right. 
Um, let's go right here a bit. Alright, right here, yeah. If you go here, there's gonna be some NPCs that can spawn here that can give you your fist. If you deliver a hostage to them, so you'll have to wait for that. If you talk to one of the guys here, they'll give you, uh, they'll be able to allow you to get fist or something like that. I'm not really sure how it looks like, but I can try and make a video on it. And there's also NPCs that spawn here that you can kill. The same ones. You can just kill them if you want to get XP. And the campfire is how you put your skills in. So on the right, it'll spawn here, and then you can just put it into any attribute that you want. And yeah, that's basically it. There is other stuff I would love to show, but I want to let everyone learn. So, if this guide helped you, just understand some of the basics or how to start off. I hope that I hope that helps. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Cause we suck up in the stone age. Gotta find a way to get back to the old days. When the time makes them run through the cold phase. Anything to get back to the old ways. Always. We suck up in the stone age. Gotta find a way to get back to the old days. When the time makes them run through the cold phase. Anything to get back to the old ways. Always. We suck up in the stone age.